and welcome back. Uh, here we are for the distribu distribution fitting with Vos Model Risk Professional version 4.0. So as before, we have our data set, so a data set with 50 trials and a larger data set with 150,000 trials. We are going to fit both of these and we're going to see how many steps it took if we how we we handled fitting larger data sets if we can get data from a text file or some other place i.e. a database the number of fitting methods fitting triangulation and the ability to save and share distributions so first up we're going to fit the distribution so as you can see in this menu contrary to the standard edition you got a lot more things going on so the first thing that we see is that we want to do a fit and a fit of a distribution. So that's step one. Step two is that we need to select the data. So we're going to take all 50 points here. Then we need to add the methods. So that's three. And the quick way is to go through the list and then highlight that and this makes it four and we have our normal and we're gonna pick that so to insert this we need to go to the cell that we want to insert it over here, like so click on it and hit insert simulate and click that and it will have inserted the distribution using a technique called a fit. So it automatically applies a Vos normal fit. And if the data changed in here, so would this. So it's a dynamic fitting process. So we're going to hit OK and we're done with that. So that was, uh, so we were at four, five, so six steps to fit the distribution. Now the ability to fit a large data set. So let's see how that works. So same process. So we go to fit and we pick all 150,000 items. And we'll notice that it imported the data quite quickly. Now we're going to add our possible fits. So this is an interesting feature where model risk kind of pre-selects what would be appropriate distributions and it's going to fit each one of them using S so Schwartz's information uh, criteria. Uh, they have the Akaike uh, information criteria and uh, the last one, uh, if you'll just give me a second, um, is the Hanan Quinn information criterion. So these are slightly different uh, methods. They're, they've been around a little less, um, they haven't been around as long as Anderson, Darling, and so on, so they're a little more modern. Uh, however, when you're working with 150,000 data points, um, each fit is going to take a little longer. So given that we we selected a fair number of distributions, we're going to see it uh, test the fitting um, with each one of these. So again, the speed of a computer could be a factor. So in order to save you guys some time, I'm going to do the easy bake process and I'm going to pause this for the well actually it's it's moving along well I am gonna pause this and uh, I'll report back at how much time this took so we're back and it took about it fitted and it fitted correctly the gamma distribution however uh, given the absolute number the sheer number of distributions that it fit and the mathematical sophistication of what's going on as well as the PC that this is running on it took about eight minutes 
you know, eight, nine minutes to do all of this. However, uh, the result is worth taking into account because then we can see that it's come up with some interesting fits. And as we go through it, it'll recalculate the parameters and we'll see how that diverges against the actual data. So in here we have the beta 4 and this is what the percentiles would look like. In this case we're going to go back to our gamma. So as you again it's going through the process for 150,000 trials. So on the one hand this is very very fast and on the other uh, while the other you have to be more if you want to save time okay you need to be more uh, uh, specific about the distributions that you want to use. That being said, let's go ahead and insert that okay so we'll go so at 150,000 okay Whoops, so we're still in the dialog here, so we're going to insert this, insert simulate, and then and we're going to insert that over here. And if we want to look at the various parameters, we can even go look at those, so we're going to hit OK here. And what do we have? So it's doing a Vos Gamma fit. So again, very if the data changes, it too will uh, refit the data, but against a gamma distribution. So the ability to handle large data sets, yes. Um, text file import. Well, they don't actually support text file import. However, they have this data object tool, which will enable you to source data from a database however a lot of work needs to go into defining the SQL query so unless you you know what you're doing with SQL this is a kind of a tough feature to use but it's there for you and it's dynamic and it's very elegant worth learning number of fitting methods well we have three we mentioned them earlier so they are the um, so they are a kaike. So we, I'm just looking here at my notes here. So we have the Schwartz information criterion, the Akaike um, information criterion, and the Hanan Quinn uh, information criterion. So more modern, a little more math intensive. But as we could see on the uh, large data set, that worked pretty well. Um, so we'll kind of say, we'll say yes for that number of fitting methods three method triangulation as well we didn't play with it but it's there uh, could be color coded that would be kind of nice to be able to see which ones are the best and the ability to save and share distributions um, they have a, uh, a tool for the library however it doesn't um, seem to save the parameters of distributions so this is a no um, now, that kind of concludes our model risk professional um, overview of uh, fitting. This is a very capable tool. It's very sophisticated. Um, <clears throat> I would not hesitate to say that this is uh, um, probably one of the most modern and sophisticated fitting tools out there. So definitely worth considering. Next up is At Risk Pro. So if you have any questions on this presentation, as usual, eTorkia, that's E T O R K I A, at Technology Partners with a Z.com. Thanks.